What doesn't make me proud to head go of DSG? As much as there's the sisterhood with the girls around you, it's knowing that there are sisters beyond as well. So being a DSG girl, immediately you have to have some sort of grit to be women of substance, you know, to take care of each other as sisters in, at school and as sisters probably in the industry. Hi, I'm Erin Powers. I'm the head girl of DSG for 2022. Well, I grew up in Van Grahamstown, Mount Makanda. I'm an only child. My parents always said that was so that they could give me every opportunity, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And that's absolutely true. Throwing myself at everything I could. Tell me about all these things on your place. <laughs> well, we have a bad system at DSG. Things from the various sports I play, as a saxophonist being in the wind orchestra, as well as academic awards. The blazer of the badges. So how did you even put this on your body? I mean, I didn't have to wear it every day. <laughs> President's Award, Outreach, Prefect, Chapel Choir, Nepal were... No, it makes me feel proud. You all worked hard for these badges. <laughs> my name is Aviwe Kata, and this is my mom, Notando Njangase. And this is our grandmother's house and grandfather's house. It's, a, it's home. I stayed in Timbaza, me and my husband. Avi was the only child at that time. And Timbaza was a rough place. I asked my mom that she can take for me Avi And I was breastfeeding Avi And my mother said, you must stop breastfeeding her. Because when we are leaving, this child is going to cry, cry, cry. Avi stayed here with my mom until my mom passed. Mm, it's always emotional without my grand. She was COVID tested free, but it was during that time, so we never know. Maybe it was a false positive. It was quite sad. Her and my sister were pressing me to study computers and to study in general. I loved school. I wanted to go to VG and DSG. My gran was like, we don't have money for it. I'm like, make money. When I then went to grade seven, they were quiet for about half the year and I was starting to get worried because I'm like, guys, where's scholarships alert? Like, why is no one saying anything? But the first day of actual school, I actually had no school shoes. <laughs> they forgot to buy me school shoes. <laughs> so I was wearing pink slippers. The head of chapel came up to me and was like, darling, those look fabulous, but we need to get you proper school shoes. <laughs> I've always loved school. Into grade four, all the new people coming, wearing the green for the first time, and all of us in places that were way too big. This was big school now. So for the most part, I was the only scholarship girl in the grade. So it's like when people understand your situation and when people understand where you come from and they want to know and they want to get to know you more. So in 2020, I entered the math art competition. I had seen this incredible string artwork. Reading up about it and finding all the maths behind it, I thought, wow, the equations of lines and the intersections, and it was so cool because this is exactly what I was learning about in geometry. To me, that's the ultimate because everything is so intertwined. My sister was like, take IT, and I was like, no one takes that. If I take IT, I'm going to be the only girl. If I'm lucky, I will have another girl there. My, my grandmother also pushed it. So when I left DSG, I went to Rhodes. They were introducing information systems. Absolutely loved it. My grandmother went to both of my graduations. Yeah, she was very excited. I think she thought she was graduating. <laughs> <laughs> I currently work for Intellect, which is one of the software developing companies in Joburg. I think it's one of the best in South Africa, actually, if not the world. In 2020, I won the math art competition. That string creating me, how my life had created me and my perspective. I mean, that Ubuntu philosophy. I think JSG is in terms of South Africa and women, specifically black women that don't come from privileged backgrounds, has played already an enormous role. 
for me, like I'm still very much involved in the scholarship goals that I was with at DSG at the time from the different grades. It goes to what we used to say at the President's Award, you know, like if you can change one person's life, that person you never know how many lives they're going to change. Being a girl in green is very special to me. It's that history and you can feel it. I mean, the stories these walls could tell. To be at a school like DSG is a privilege. I mean, my hope has always been to bring others up with me. That is the end goal, always. And do you think that her grandmother would be proud of her? My mother was very proud of Aviwe. A girl in green for me, it speaks to the woman that I chose to be and I was groomed to be at school. I could never take it for granted.